Well, he said he would be back, and he's back. My review of Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Last Stand, coming up next. The last time Arnold Schwarzenegger starred in a movie was way back in 2003 in Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Arnold makes his return to the big screen in The Last Stand where he plays Ray Owens, a sheriff in a sleepy little town in Arizona that's located close to the Mexican border. Sheriff Owens is nearing retirement and he likes his no pressure job, but that is about to change. A Pablo Escobar-like Mexican drug lord is about to be transported to federal custody in Las Vegas when he escapes with the help of the Mexican drug cartel. Don't these feds know that these prison transports with drug lords are always a bad idea? Didn't they see the movie SWAT? Anyway, the drug lord, played by Eduardo Noriega, takes off in a souped-up Corvette ZR1 that has the amazing capacity to outmaneuver police blockades and even knock over SWAT assault trucks as he races toward the Mexican border. Forrest Whitaker plays the FBI agent in charge who underestimates the race car drug lord as he fails to stop him on his race to freedom. When Arnold tries to warn the FBI that there's a small army in his town building a bridge over the canyon so that the drug lord can make his escape, Whitaker amazingly blows him off. But the bullet riddle plot plays second fiddle to the action and there is lots of that. South Korean director Ji Won Kim does a great job of keeping the film moving with plenty of gun battles and fist fights and is a really cool car chase through the cornfields with Arnold and the drug lord at the end of the film. Arnold, at 65 years old, is not the action star that he used to be. He doesn't take his shirt off in this movie and he walks slower than me after a tough leg workout. In this final fight with that skinny drug lord at the end of the film, it takes him more than five minutes to beat up the little punk. However, he still commands a screen like a modern day John Wayne with his lumbering body and his heavy accent, so it still works. Supporting performances by Louise Guzman and Johnny Knoxville add some humor to the movie, and Peter Stormari, best known for the wood chipper scene in Fargo, plays an effective bad guy. Overall, I liked The Last Stand. It was more entertaining than I thought it would be, and it's an effective, if mindless, action movie. I give The Last Stand three biceps up. I'm John Hanson from MuscleToMovies.com. <laughs>